you guys want the best NFL coverage on YouTube, hit that big red button and subscribe for more free videos. That includes mailbags to news, rumors, and everything else going on around the NFL. So if you haven't already, hit that big red button and subscribe right now. First up from Terrence Menace. Who can use the Dolphins trading slash signing in the offseason? Um, I mean, trading away, I think they're going to mostly stand pats. Uh, signing, I would love to Ron Armstead. Go invest in an admittedly injury-prone but actually good offensive tackle. you got to get help on that offensive line. I'd focus there and center. You know, does, does Brian Allen make sense for your organization? Uh, does Ryan Jensen fit what you want to do? We'll see what Mike McDaniel wants to run truly style-wise with various players. Running back would be nice. There are going to be decent free agents and maybe a draft a running back finally early in this year's class. All right, from Vince, he says the Giants trade the 5th and 7th overall picks for the Eagles' 15th, 16th, and 19th. Okay, so we're going to do the whole... Uh, Trade value chart here. So we got 468 for the Giants' first pick and 426. Now, my gut is going to tell me that it is the, uh, the Giants who say no, but 315 for the Eagles' 15th overall pick, 305 and 278. So that is uh, wildly in favor of, surprisingly, the, the Eagles uh, lose that trade, Marshall. Would you do that trade? We just, we just brought in a Giants host, Marshall. I think the scenario in which you might do it is if the top tackles are all off the board. Yeah. 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 Uh, you, Marshall wants a little bit more. You're giving up the two best picks in the deal the Giants are, but you're getting three firsts. The, the, the trade value chart uh, says that the Giants win the trade. By the uh, by, approximately a mid to late second is the value difference there. So that that's interesting, Vince. Uh, I think it's a, it's a pretty decent idea. Would have to depend, I think, on who's on the board in the end. All right, Hector Gaming, Derek Carr to the Commanders with Devontae Adams. Raiders sign James White and Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, the Commanders love it. But I think the Raiders say, but why? Uh, yeah, there's the, there's the Josh McDaniels connection, but I think you're kind of getting a little bit worse at the quarterback position. From Can't Stop Us, where will Laramie Tunsil be traded to? Good question. Um, Tunsil seems like he's done in Houston. There was the thumb injury that I don't think should have taken him the entire year to, uh, to get recovered from. Seems like a lot of the good Texans players kind of followed the, uh, the, the path of Deshaun Watson and said, eh, I'm done here. Let's, let, let's, get, let's get out of here. So six teams I like uh, for Tunsil. The Seattle Seahawks, draft capital gets dicey. Carolina, they have no QB, but if you were to offer the sixth overall pick, would help you feel better about the offensive line in a big way. The Giants, if you want to move one of your first two uh, five or seven overall, that probably gets it done, or at least close to it. The Steelers, if you want to move Dan Moore to right tackle or something, the Bengals should be all in on somebody like Laramie Tunsil. Go be aggressive there. And if you want to get really wild with it, why don't you bring back Tunsil if you're Miami? You still have not replaced him properly. You win the trade by getting all those picks, and you give up less than what you gave up to get him in the end because he's not going to fetch the same demand he got last time around. So what do you think? Make your predictions. And Houston, I suppose, is still valid in the end. But where will Laramie Tunsil play in 2022? Get those predictions in for me at the pinned comment on today's video. From Sammy Silver, could a Russell Wilson the Saints trade happen? If so, what would it look like? I think that the retirement of Sean Payton pretty much kills this. Uh, I still don't think Russell Wilson gets dealt, at least not anymore. I think he works it out with Seattle. Had Sean Payton been there, I think it would have been multiple first-round picks, maybe a player or two. With Sean Payton not there, I don't think Russell Wilson wants to go to New Orleans. 
Super Chat from It's Viral. Thank you, my friend. Uh, who's going to be the starting QB for the Niners? I just think it's going to be Trey Lance. I know that the Brady rumors are out there. Jimmy G's going to get dealt somebody in probably the next month or so. And I think that Lance is your week one starting QB for San Francisco. I think would be the, the right decision uh, in the end for the 49ers. From Jacob Williams, can the Bengals sign four linemen? And which ones do they sign? Good, good question. Um, I think Jonah Williams can come back as one of your starters on the offensive line, whether it's a tackle or guard. Now, remember... The Bengals were starting backups on the right side of the line in the Super Bowl because Riley Reef, their right tackle, got hurt. He wasn't available. Uh, Jackson Carmen, a second-round pick last year, could not get on the field. Maybe he does this year. He, it's a bit, bit of a red flag there. If you start Trey Hopkins at guard, I feel okay with that. I would, I would throw money, though, on the offensive line. I think Connor Williams would be a good name. Or Brandon Scherf at offensive guard. Sign one of those two. Sign a new tackle. Can you get Teron Armstead? Do you want to throw money elsewhere at that position? If you're the Bengals, obviously be aggressive. Your, your window is now. Your QB is super cheap. Go invest in the O-line. Keep up right, and maybe Deontay Smith, or, or Dante Smith, your fourth-round pick last year can be an option for you at tackle or guard next year. So they've invested in the offensive line. They've just missed on too many draft picks. Junior Estrada, should the Patriots sign a wide receiver like Michael Thomas or Brennan Cooks? So that, those are both trades. Those guys are not free agents. Cooks is a fun idea, though. Uh, Michael Thomas, I don't think it's dealt. I think that's gonna, he's going to stick in the state. So we'll focus on Cooks here and some convo around him. Uh, it'd be a reunion for Brandon Cooks in New England because – he always gets traded. It is insane to me how many times Cooks has been dealt. And oh, by the way, he is just 28 years old. He ain't even 30 yet, which makes things pretty intriguing. So five teams beyond New England that could make sense for Cooks. The Las Vegas Raiders, since they need receiver help pretty badly. The Detroit Lions. The Cleveland Browns. The Atlanta Falcons and the Colts. The Falcons and, and the Lions and Browns all in the of the Colts, by the way. A fun dark horse. I don't know there, uh, though, if the intra-division trade makes the most sense. But I wanted to mention them. So when it comes to Cooks, this is a fun question. How many more times will he be traded? Is it zero, one, two, or three? Make your predictions for me in the comments section. Nick McKee says J.C. Jackson to the Cincinnati Bengals. I would be somewhat surprised. I think that might be too expensive, but they're going to cut Trey Waynes. That was a disastrous signing. And they need one more corner then to go with, C uh, with, with uh, Cheeto uh, Abouzier and Mike Hilton. So I don't know if they're going to break the bank for Jackson, but I think they'll add a corner somehow, some way this offseason. Shane Howard, if the Jets traded back, who and what package would be the best move? Um, depends on what position you're targeting. If you're trading back from 10, the ideal scenario, as it might be a bit outlandish, but your ideal outcome is the Saints at 18, the Steelers at 20, someone in that range says, you know what, we got to jump the Washington Commanders and the Minnesota Vikings maybe at 11 and 12 to go get our QB. Somebody falls in love with a franchise QB or thinks they have their franchise QB and they jump up and give you future draft picks to move up 10-ish spots in the top 10 to jump the Commanders and get their preferred QB. That's the ideal outcome for the Jets. Now, uh, we will have a year-round coverage of NFL free agency trades and the draft as well. So if you haven't already, hit that big red button and subscribe for daily videos and weekly live shows right here on Chat Sports. Chris Watterson, if Pittsburgh gets Jimmy G, should they draft Devin Lloyd in round one? Uh, I wouldn't hate that idea. Um, I think the offensive line... And cornerback still might be better areas of need for you, but from a pure talent perspective and with uncertainty around the future of Devin Bush and his impact there, I think that is a, a good idea in terms of 
of a target for you in round one. From Optimum Packer, if the Packers keep Aaron Rodgers, should they trade Jordan Love? I mean, they could try. I don't think there's that much value uh, for Jordan Love. I, I don't think that's, that's the case. He has not played much and hasn't been good when he's played. So you can call, but I, I don't think there's a big demand right now for Jordan Love. It was a bit of a surprise. Green Bay took him. And now they're sitting with a maybe some regrets in terms of that selection. So some teams that, if you can make a trade, might make sense. Steelers, with their uncertainty at QB long term. Denver, if you want to let Love and Lot compete for the job. The Colts, if they want to go cheap and dump Carson Wentz. I don't love that idea. The Commanders, maybe. The Saints could be a decent dark horse team for that as well. Evan Inders. Minnesota trades a third for Evan Ingram. He's a free agent. So you don't have to trade for Ingram. You could sign him outright, and I think a third's too much anyway. He has not been anything close uh, to what the Vikings were, ho or the Giants were hoping for uh, in the end. So you sign him, sure, but he's not going to be that expensive. Christian Navarro, and then I do want to get to, to the uh, Latuya one. What will the Chargers running game look like in 2022? Um, the same. I don't think that much change is coming. It's going to still be a heavy Austin Eckler show uh, for L.A. From Latuya67, Tom, why is Mitch and others hating on Bailey Zappi? I think it's worth taking a shot at him in the sixth round. So I am on board with Zappi in the sixth. I got him more in the just outside top 100 range. Um, I don't think he's a starting QB in the NFL, but on day three... No complaints. I, I think he, he's going to end up being like my QB7, I think. I think I'm going to have the, uh, the Caleb LB kid from Western Michigan above him. Uh, the, I view him as a high-end backup. The, the arm strength is not there. He doesn't have the velocity that you're looking for. And we saw that a bit uh, plenty. It kind of reminds me of Case Keenum. Like, he's not really a starter for you, but he's a good backup. In round six, absolutely, frankly... I don't think Zappi falls that far. I think he goes somewhere in the fourth round. So I, I guess if you, if you want to take him before the sixth, I'm on board too in the end. From Aqua, will the Browns trade Jarvis Landry? Um, I don't think anyone wants Landry at his contract. Coming off a down year, injury and being more of a good but not elite receiver – I don't think anyone wants to pay him uh, the figures that the Browns owe him this upcoming year. So as it relates to Landry, there is some value there in terms of once he gets cut, teams will have interest in him, but I don't, I don't think he gets dealt this season. Speaking of trades, I want you to name a player who you think gets traded. Let me know in the comment section. Pick a guy who you think gets dealt this offseason. Super chat from Ozzy Osman. I wish the new league year began the first day of the combine. That way I won't have to wait so damn long to see big moves from teams. The NFL doesn't do that because they want to use the combine as the backdoor secret networking stuff. They don't want to, you know, invest uh, and, and have too much going on at once. They, they want to maximize the combine as a TV event. 